U6 double click, something's in it, and accounts receivable, go to the end of it and plus. Scroll back down and go to that 3800 and enter. Bringing the accounts receivable down, putting us back in balance. No effect on net income. Notice it's similar to us then uh, making a, a note receivable in that there's no effect on net income. We're recording it um, in the case of notes receivable to another asset, in this case to a contra asset. So we typically have a credit balance in the, in the allowance and we um, are, are just basically uh, no effect on the net assets really because it was here and then we had this credit balance and we just basically took it out of the accounts receivable and then reversed it right underneath with the allowance account. So in any case, using the allowance method has no effect on net income and as well as does putting it to the uh, note receivable has no effect on net income until we earn the interest revenue on it because under both circumstances we already earned the revenue when we sold uh, well, whatever we sold when we earned it uh, when we got the accounts receivable when we put the accounts receivable on the books so now we need to do the same thing here and to the p account and take it off the books they no longer owe us money not because they paid us not because we're going to get the money in the future not because we transferred it to a note but because we gave up on it so we're going to say this equals that same 3,800, bringing the balance for P company down to zero. If we add up all of our subsidiary ledger accounts, all the customers that owe us money, they add up to 20,543, which should tie out to be the same as the amount on the trial balance as it is.